and good evening, India. I am Ashwin Mushran, but then again, we all are. What the f Hey, stop, start again. Hello and good evening, India. I am Ashwin Mushran, but then again, we all are. And I'm Aditi Mittal. Welcome to Weekly News India, the country's finest weekly news program. Let's get started with this week's headlines. Anil Verma, a senior diplomat in the Indian High Commission in London who allegedly assaulted his wife in the UK, has escaped prosecution due to diplomatic immunity. Meanwhile, Indian politicians in India without diplomatic immunity also managed to break the law without prosecution. Pakistan has banned the export of onions to India. With Pakistani IPL players banned and now onions, this makes terrorism Pakistan's last legitimate export to India. Speaking of Pakistani terrorism, Ashwin, Reports say that lone surviving 2611 gunman Kassab has grown irritable in jail and has started taking to insulting his guards. Yes, without onions, his mutton biryani is not nearly so succulent these days. <laughs> very sad, Muni, very sad. In the recent IPL auctions, Saurav Ganguly was not picked up by any IPL teams. What is news though, is that he was the only one who was surprised. The US wants details from the Twitter account of WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange. Apparently knowing that Assange just had sausage and eggs for breakfast and just went for a film, it sucked, is absolutely essential for global peace and security. Weather is crazy these days, Chunni. In Delhi, fog has caused the cancellation of flights and train services and reduced visibility to near zero. It's just too bad the fog didn't descend during the Commonwealth Games. Yes, Ashwin. Fog is so bad that authorities have warned Delhi citizens to be careful, especially during nighttime travel. As if Delhi's ever safe for nighttime travel. Cut! And now, a special report from our foreign correspondent, Matthew Schneeberger. Hey there, Ashwin. I'm here in Andheri, Mumbai. Uh, yeah. he, he's, he's, in, he's in Mumbai. Yes. So, like, how is he the foreign correspondent? He's in, he's, oh, he's in Mumbai. He's, he's foreign and he's our correspondent in Mumbai. What is... I mean, God, get with the program. Who's that girl that's sitting next to you? <laughs> Carry on. I, Ash Ashwin, Ashwin, can you please get this girl to be quiet? I mean, you're the chief anchor, right? Uh, excuse me? One minute. Uh, you're saying your chief anchor? Where the hell is my contract? Carry on with the report. <laughs> yeah. uh, apparently, the, the local government, there's some property scam in South Mumbai over another society. So they've come here, I think, and just destroyed this building instead. Pretty brilliant governance, I have to say. Wow, fantastic, Matthew. That is breaking news. <laughs> breaking. I mean, you, you are li literally breaking news. You truly are a wonderful, wonderful correspondent and journalist. <laughs> Just because what? you're white and foreign. Because he's white. The, white. He, one line. One line report. He's like, white. One line. That's all that matters. I mean, what I mean? He this... said, oh, shit is being broken. Like, that's, that, was his, that was his entire report. Yeah, but, but look, who cares? He's white. And I, I don't care whether he says anything. We have a white reporter for a program. I guess that's it what's... does legitimize things a little bit. Do you want to you agree with me? Ah, uh, yeah, because the camera's still running. <laughs> and now for our WTF pick of the week. I, mean, yes, like, I know they're wearing hats. What the hell? Is how is hats new? It's a hat for God's sake! What you is what? What, what, what is what's, what's your name? To me, what we It's all, Adit. That's all folks. Me, Ashmushan, and good night from Mundi. <laughs> Aditi. Aditi! You know what? You are damn lucky I'm still doing this, okay? 